Hello everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colours. In the last session we arrived in this town, we uh, met up with our brother, got our room here, and uh, we were chilling, we were chilling and relaxing and having a good old time when this Mac dude came in and accused our brother of trying to sleep with Mac's girlfriend, which isn't true, they're just uh, like studying together and uh, he's helping her get into college and stuff, but uh, Max anger overwhelmed Alex and she lost control and beat the hell out of him and uh, also punched her brother. So we're going to go down and see him and hopefully make amends for that. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can uh, patch things up because no one else knows about her power that like emotions, she can like read people's emotions and how they're thinking and feeling, but it also can overwhelm her. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> I bet he didn't tell them that we did it, though. So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Yeah, he hasn't said. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Uh-oh. Quick, let's go before he asks us to help. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Like, falling after what's just happened, but rising in general, because life seems like it's going to be pretty good here. Rising. For sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Uh, probably not anymore. <laughs> He's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry, I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, seems thanks like, for supper. Seems like yep. our brother's got a good girlfriend there. She seems lovely. Well in, Gabe. Uh-oh. <laughs> there is dickhead in chief. Oh, more, more arcade games to play? Interesting. Steph over there. Are we gonna get to explore the bar now? So I'm short-staffed at the moment. No! <laughs> Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... No! <laughs> Go with Gabe's story or come clean. We're going with Gabe's story. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. 
He seems really nice. nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. I like him. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Guess so. My dad was in the server. Oh, he's angry. You know what? That's interesting. That is actually really interesting because you wouldn't be able to tell from the way he just talked to us and everything. Like, that conversation was chill. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Cool. Okay. Anyone else have a uh, like an aura around them? Not that I can see. I should check on that table. Hello, Ducky and Diane. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. Is she from the mining that, uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist. Recently working as a process manager Thought for so. Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, She looks here too. pretty smart and the tea pin on, Can her, I get you anything? on her jacket. Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the server. New dialogue unlocked. What does that mean? Oh, our phone's... Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Phone's going off. Hector, lost dog. My golden retriever's run away. She's very sweet. Please let me know if you see her. Sorry, I'll keep an eye out. I hope she gets home safe. Let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? Uh, Silver Dragon. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Nice. If you're not 21 yet, this post isn't for you. And each day it grows more and more. Babe, we've talked about this. Boyfriends are not allowed to participate in giveaways. You know I can't resist the temptations. New look to finish. Don't hesitate because the world seems cold. Stay young at heart because you're never, never old. You got it. Just show me this post next time you swing by. Uh, that's all the new ones. Okie doke. So new dialogue. I'm not sure who it meant there was new dialogue with. Was it these guys? Haven is nice. Just... Wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Unless it meant new dialogue as in telling this guy their food order. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't... I wasn't remembering it. Oh, shit. Uh, fuckity fuck. Uh... Cheeseburger with mushrooms, I think? One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Oh no. Uh -huh. And? Uh, pie special with fries. I'm pretty confident on that one. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ducky gonna be oh, pissed. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. All righty. Oh. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. 
He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. I mean, we could just ask him. Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. Wow, that's, uh, that's trusting. Handing your phone to someone that you've just met. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Motherfucker has 26,000 emails unread. Nice. <laughs> Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. It has not been easy being your daughter. You simply, you cannot simply say you are lonely and expect I will forget my first 20 years. I will think about your request. The kids are doing well. I have shown them a picture of you, Mabel McAllister. Damn. That sucks. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Mm. So should we go upstairs and see if we can find it ourselves? Go have a little look-see. I'm not sure if I should just wait for that other dude to come in or... All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. I guess it can't be even higher. Okay, so it's just... So it's literally just... I need to look around the room. I'm sure that can't be too hard to find. Right? Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. Don't think we looked at that last time. I could time. never make something so... personal. That's really cool. Ah, well, here it is. This all looks really fancy, oh. but no rye whiskey. Never mind. Uh, up here. Are you too short to reach? Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Gabe made sure I won't go hungry. No craft rye up there. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. We did store. read that. Because how fucking cool is that? And we saw that pick. Okay, what else? Holy shit. We saw that. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Trying to figure out what stuff is new and what stuff we've already interacted with. Wait, what was that? Oh. Uh, in the drawer? Alex. Do I want to know? Yes. <laughs> well, that looks... Yes, I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oh, this is his files trying to find me. Okay. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We're glad to see you doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system, and we don't know where she lives now. Here's a phone number for the, emer for the agency. For the emergency? For the agency. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of month, question mark, question mark, question mark. But we wish you luck in finding her. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Hmm. Nope, a dude got through, not her. Old number, now, now some dude named Adam, no. He was, he was really trying. He was really trying. And he found us eventually. Okay. In the dresser? Oh, wait, no. This is just the, the outfit thing. Uh, hmm. Is 
Can we go in this room now? No, this is still locked off to us. Where the fuck could it be then? I feel like I've looked at every, uh... Everything that I can interact with. Is it... Will interacting with some random thing end up leading to finding it? Is that... a sword? Oh, couch? Can I interact with the couch? Is it, like, slipped down between the... things? If Ducky fell asleep here last night, maybe the bottle's nearby. Got it. Nice. Well, that was good. Glad we'll be able to give him what he wants then. He seems he seems all right. I mean, that message from his daughter seems like he didn't used to be all right, but he seems Found all right now. Upstairs in Gabe's couch. What a relief! Or at least he puts on a good Many performance. Thanks. Alex. Uh, my pleasure. I'm not gonna beg for putting in a good word. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. He loves it. You still feeling that way? You are okay. My in the service. Now, who else? Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak. Yep, and Mount Huron, and the Devil's Tail. Amazing. I love Maine, but I need to hike some real mountains. But first, you're going to get the Full Haven experience, starting right here in the famous Black Lantern. Oh, it's pretty... eclectic. Do you think Mom and Dad will like it? I was thinking of bringing them here, too. Oh, yeah. Old wood is Dad's favorite aesthetic. So, how was getting? Oh my god, they have more dialogue than I was expecting. <laughs> I actually got kind of lost. Did you ask for directions? I wouldn't need directions okay. if the sign is This one's from yesterday. <laughs> bullet hole. Damn. Wait. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Here, Jack Henry shot at William Porter over four aces and paid with his life. Rest in peace, mister. Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> News clipping. Is there anything this woman can't do? When I met Charlotte Harmon in her home studio last month, both her and her coffee mug were covered in paint. Yes, I'm a cliché, she beamed as she led me towards her latest creation, a gorgeous portrait of local business owner Ellen and Leth, part oil painting, part lacquered bouquet. Uh, very few surfaces in our house are free of paint. I'm okay with that, she continued. You're probably familiar with Miss Harmon's work thanks to her commission from the town council to decorate the walking path off Main Street. The massive outdoor mural, fittingly titled Haven Springs, captures our small slice of earth nestled in the Colorado mountains. It was such a wonderful experience, Miss Harmon recalled. Everyone supported me during the process, and Jed basically fed my family for months, which was great, because the Lantern makes the best burger in town. You can print that. Now, Miss Harmon is looking to deepen her connection to Haven Springs and start a small business. No easy task for a working artist. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Nice. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, gonna leave that room for last, because it's got Monsieur Douche at the end. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Radical acceptance. Finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. Nice. 
Wow. Tetanus anyone? <laughs> I hope Brian's got better supplies. Sure he has. not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Starting over from scratch like this? Takes a minute to learn the rest. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Yeah, I guess. Wait, they... Town of Haven Springs Council Vote Notice. Uh, this measure proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhon Mining for use in an open pit mine. Sale profit and property taxes will be added to the overall budget of Haven Springs. Right. Doing things is just so... My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Idiosyncratic. That looks radioactive. Radioactive, radioactive. That's the girl from the record store. Staff. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Sure. Uh, who are you sitting with? So are you um here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Ah. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. <laughs> He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. What are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Uh, I, I have vague ideas, but feel free to uh, give us a full rundown. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Uh, I'd give it a try. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Sure. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I won't guess it because I don't know many songs. <laughs> My song knowledge is limited. That is for sure. Is Alex trying to sneak a peek? Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Uh, okay. Song missing. Think of the children, alabaster daydreams. Blame the monkey brain. Pyrrhic, check, raise, mind the damn porridge. Oh my god, there's quite a lot, isn't there? <laughs> the fuckadelics. What? Kiss up and shut me. What? <laughs> oh god. Hmm. 
There are quite a lot. Unfuck yourself. Okay, there we go. That's 20. Um... Song title questions? Uh... Curse word? So, does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Okay, no curse words. Uh... Cover art. Picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. No I swears, know, right? no animals. Has a symbol. Uh... That would just be like Ampersand, right? Oh, and that, I guess. I feel like... Hmm. I feel like has a symbol wouldn't re wouldn't remove enough. So has a person's name? That also wouldn't move much. What about one word? One word might actually cut it down by like 50%. Yeah, let's do one word. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. More than one hmm. word. No animals, no You've swears. You've got two questions left. Okay. Uh, what personal questions can you ask? Why do you like it? Nah, none of those seem good. Uh, okay, let's do another cover art question. Uh, see, like, all the ones that aren't animals are people, pretty much, so. Hmm. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Okay. So what can we narrow it down to? Let's see how, how much we can narrow it down. Uh, let's start at the beginning. So, no swears, no animals, more than one word, and uh, has the band's, na band's name on it. So more than one word, so it's not that one. Uh, that one doesn't have the band name on it. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry. I was looking at the band name on this one. This, it was the song title that's more than one word, right? Oh wait, no, no, that was no curse words. Band name questions. Okay, no, it is the band name that's more than one word. Okay, so that was a yes. So it's not one. Uh, it's not two because the band name isn't on the thing. Uh, it could be three. It's not four. No, wait. Yeah, no, it's not four. Uh, it's not five. It's not six. It could be seven. Although, seven has swear... Well, would you say ass is a swear word? Probably not, right? So it could be seven. It could be eight. No, it couldn't be eight. It has an animal. It has a lion. So it couldn't be eight. Uh, could be nine. Couldn't be ten because no band name. Uh, could be eleven. Hmm. Couldn't be twelve. Could be 13. Oh, there's too many, man. There's too many that it still could be. I'm not going to be able to whittle it down with one question. 
Wait, no, they don't have the bad na band name on the cover, so it couldn't be that. 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 Uh, couldn't be that. Could be that. Shit. I don't know, guys. I don't know. What should the last one be? Any punctuation? No, I don't think that's a good one to ask. Uh, maybe a personal question? Why do you like it? Let's go with that. Why do you like this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule? Can you handle it? So, why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Goofy title, you say? Hmm. A That's your five. Goofy title. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. It's not a one-word band name. No curse words in the song title. No animals on the cover. The band name is on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Blame the monkey brain is a strong contender. No animals on the cover. Two words. No swears in the title. Name is on the cover. Goofy. Uh, could be that. It could be this. Because it was the, it was the song title that can't have a swear in it. The band name can. So it might be a, like, a throw you off, right? Here's what I know. It's not a one word band name. No curse words in the song title. Yeah, no curse words in the song no title, animals but not on the, the cover. band. The band name is on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. And that could be construed as goofy. Because instead of shut up and kiss me, it's kiss up and shut me. I'm going to guess this. I'm going to guess this and say that they were trying to fuck me with the band name, song name thing. Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> we got it. Nice. Guess I'm drinking. <laughs> Down it, fresher. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. Awesome. That was really cool. I really like that. I think I see a lot more of the jukebox game in my future. <laughs> PSA, don't play the jukebox game with Alex Chen unless you really like terrible booze. I'm sure you'll develop a taste for it. Is that the first thing we've replied? Uh, have your fun now, but no. Revenge is a bedazzled kiwi schnapps shot. Best serve cold. I've never been more proud. <laughs> I think we're gonna get on well. That was actually pretty fun. Business card? What a class act. Is it a class act to have a business card? Thanks for driving. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Another wipeout. Hunt is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... S Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. Hmm. Did that go anywhere? It did go here. Memories unlocked. 
Pike business card, Mac Riley letter. So can we just play that again? Oh no. This is like a proper thing to read. Okay, you know how you can sometimes feel like you're two people at once? I think Pike feels that way. A lot, maybe. He's Jason, and he's Pike. He's a doofus hanging out at the bar until last call, and he's the responsible public servant who volunteers to drive people home when they've had a few too many. He's just some guy, and nobody with subscriptions to too many streaming services, and one of those meal-in-a-box clubs. And he's a cop with a gun and a badge and all the power that comes with those things. Sometime, like, say, in the middle of a blizzard when the new Typhon geologist gets plastered and calls the number on your business card begging for a ride back to her apartment, maybe he wishes he could pick a lane, stay home, have a drink in front of Jeopardy, yell the answers at the TV. But the urge to do good, to do his part for the community he loves, it'll always drag him out into the snow. I don't think I've ever felt that way about a place. Right, Diane is the one we were just chatting to, the Typhon one? Okay. Uh, Gabe the Crack. He'd been in town for a week, and all his free time went into finding Dad. It was useless, of course. Dad had disappeared from here years before. Moved on to some new town, some new job. Gabe called Country Clark... Called Cunt Country Clark? Following up on a rumour. Oh, he called THE Country Clark. Okay. Uh, and for just a second, it might have seemed like he'd finally cracked the case. Our records do show that a Mr. John Chen was briefly a resident of Haven Springs, Colorado. But then... It's such a shitty feeling, realising you've exhausted all your options, that there's no more gas in the tank. At first, all you can do is lose your shit, to try to put your foot through the wall, scream at the stars, and hope to cause an avalanche. But eventually, when you're all out of anger, you've got to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, ask yourself who you'll be after all of this. And Gabe didn't have an answer. Not yet. And then Mac. I could do without Mac's furious insecurities banging around in my skull, to be honest. It's such an urgent feeling, a rope around his neck pulling him forward, compelling him, urging him to find something other than himself to direct his fury toward. Every morning this guy wakes up with the sink sinking inarguable certainty that today will be the day Riley comes to her senses, realises how much better and smarter she is than him, and cut the cord. She really should. So it's almost a relief when he finds some external target to project his self-hatred onto. Riley's goofy bartender buddy, the one who's helping her follow her dreams of leaving Haven Springs behind. He tells himself a story, turns Gabe into the villain, and for at least as long as it takes to blow up in his face, he can distract himself from feeling worthless. I wish I didn't relate so fucking hard. Oof. Oof. Okay, is it time to go and see Mac? I think it might be. Sure, I know. 